Rheumatoid arthritis is the most common autoimmune disease affecting both the young and old. It is a chronic progressive disease causing inflammation in the joint, resulting in painful deformity and immobility, especially in the figures, wrists, feet and ankles. In Ghana, about 2,000 persons living with the condition in the greater Accra region assess treatment at the rheumatological clinic at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital and other health facilities. Hydroxychloroquine is an essential drug used commonly for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. However, with the drug being used to treat persons who have contracted COVID-19, there has been a shortage. Gifty is a single mother living with the condition. She is currently on admission at Kolebu Teaching Hospital. She fears she may lose her life due to the unavailability of the drug. Because of me, I can't do anything. Mom is here. They sell the price in Akosu. Since I want to sell one to her, I will need money. I can't afford to buy the drugs, and without it, I feel severe pains. I will be grateful if the public can support me. Other persons living with the condition shared their frustration. They called on government to increase the supply of the drug and not only focus on persons who have contracted COVID-19. I fear in no time I'm going to find myself in a very difficult situation, being a mother of four very young children and finding myself in that situation is going to be a heartbreaking for the kids. In Tiamma is saying you've been to maybe I'll be a ton so almost 800 and 700. We are pleading with government to support us in getting the drugs. Yes, I am buying, sir. Ministry of Health, so much I am kind of macho. Sir, do not meet me in your my rheumatoid for a rheumatologist and a lecturer at the University of Ghana Medical School, Dr. Jifade said if nothing is done to increase the supply of the drug, persons living with the condition could become critically ill and may die. It looks as if one group has been sacrificed for the mm. other. We are well aware that it's needed for the COVID-19, even mm. though the evidence now seems um, a bit debatable whether mm. it's really that effective for the COVID-19 patients. Mm. So if that's the case, there must be adequate measures put in place for the patients who need it as well to also have it so you don't sacrifice one, one group for the other. She wants government to give equal attention to both persons who have contracted COVID-19 and persons living with rheumatoid arthritis. Chloroquine has been a drug that has been manufactured in this country before. Mm. Hydroxychloroquine is just a derivative from that. So they, I would have thought that by now, especially if they are still using it for the COVID patients, we should start manufacturing it locally so that it will be readily available at prices that are affordable for the patients mm. and also um, enough for okay. the COVID-19 right. patients to use. How long have you been out of stock? I think about four weeks. Four weeks? Yeah. Mm. So what is happening? Do you have people coming to ask for it? Okay, we have people coming to ask for it, but then unfortunately we don't have. This has been the situation in most of the health facilities and also pharmacies we have visited so far. We are told that a hydrochloroquine is out of supply now and patients living with such condition are calling on the government to help in the supply of such drugs to help them undergo treatment. Joseph Armstrong, Gold Alibi, TV3. Accra.